Hello everyone, this is Assistant Professor Dharam Unarika to welcome you all to the subject Effective Technical Communication. So, as we know, we are moving with the module number 1 that is Dynamics of Communication. In the last or previous videos, we have covered topics like Process of Communication, Dynamics of Communication, the components of nonverbal communication that is kinesics and proxemics this two we have covered and one more component of nonverbal communication that is paralinguistic features this we will continue in this video so paralinguistic communication refers to the study of human voice and how words are spoken the words are static on pages voice gives extra life to our delivery Voice is useful to understand the characteristic of voice, namely quality, volume, rate, pitch, pronunciation, voice modulation and poses. So, the pronunciation features is the study of human voice and how words are spoken. Let me give an example. If a person is entering into the room and shoot a boy, this is this sentence is stating in the pages and if I say a person is entering in the room and shoot a boy. If I say this sentence simply, you may think that a person simply with a calm nature came inside the room. But if I say same sentence in the other way, for example, if a person enter into the room and shoot a boy, you will think that a person came inside the room in hurry or in angry. So the same sentence but the two different way I spoke. So the study of this is known as paralinguistic features. Now the paralinguistic features includes let's see one by one. First is quality, second is volume, third is rate or pace, fourth is pitch, fifth pronunciation, sixth pauses and the seventh is intonation. So this seven types which paralinguistic features includes. Let's see one by one in detail. First is the quality. It is the characteristic that distinguish one voice from the another. It cannot be changed but it can be trained for the optimum impact. Very few people are naturally blessed with the deep and the resonant quality. Uh, let us see an example of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi who is blessed with such speech with a moderate quality voice. Next is the volume. Volume is the loudness or the soundness of the voice. Voice should always project but need not to be loud. If our volume is too high, it sound burish or insensitive. If our volume is too low, it conveys an impression of timidity and also give the impression that we are not prepared and lack of confidence to express ourselves. Third is rate or pace. Rate is the number of words one speak per minute. It varies from person to person and from 80 to 250 words per minute. The normal rate or pace is 120 to 150 words per minute. If the speech is too slow, the speaker is mostly like to be considered a dull speaker. And if the speech is too fast, listener do not get enough time to grasp the message. So the rate or pace of the person should be moderate between 120 to 150 words per minute. Next is the pitch. Pitch refers to the number of variations one in his voice per second. The rise and fall of the voice conveys various emotions. Thank you, the phrase. The low pitch expression of sadness, shock, dullness, guilt, etc. While the high pitch expresses excitement, joy and anger. So how we speak some phrases like thank you. So this is a good expression or joyful expression while when we are in said emotions we have low pitch. Next comes pronunciation. 
pronunciation refers us to speak out sounds in way that is generally accepted we received british pronunciation whenever there is a confusion in pronunciation always consult a good dictionary and try to pronounce it accordingly next is pauses a pause is a short silence by words it helps the listener reflects to the message and digest to it accordingly it also helps speaker glide from one thought to the another see this pause is useful for the both listener as well as speaker it also helps speaker to glide from one thought to another being too self conscious may make the process too artificial and the last thing that includes in the paralinguistic features is intonation it is the rising and falling of the tone in the voice while speaking for example this is my uncle's house so here i have raised my sentence my voice to the uncle's house so where this is my is not that much important but uncle's house is important so the rising and falling of the tone in the voice is known as intonation so this seven types which includes in the paralinguistic features let's see one by one again first is the quality second is the volume third is the rate or pace fourth is the pitch fifth is the pronunciation then comes the pauses and last is the intonation now let's have a look on the next topic that is importance of interpersonal communication in the previous video we have see the importance of the intercultural communication that means when a person or the leader have to communicate to the different cultural listeners so he have the ability to of intercultural communication but now we are see the importance of the interpersonal communication interpersonal means one one communication interpersonal skill are also known as the people skill this is important in our routine day by forming interpersonal relationship with the customers and employees you are able to acknowledge the feeling of others and convey respect seeing yourself as others see you is the first step to improving your interpersonal communication skill so to improve your interpersonal skill you have to see yourself in the mirror you have to do the thing as you like to do others with yourself effective interpersonal communication in the workplace is integral to the well functioning high performing team interpersonal skill are the ability to communicate important information and manage the social interaction with colleagues both up and down in the business chain so when you are communicate in the upward direction in your organization that that means in the your higher authority you need this skill to see to see yourself in a good manner but when you are also communicating your subordinates you need this skill so interpersonal communication skill requires all over in your life even in your corporate in your real life the 10 key interpersonal communication skills identify as a crucial by the business executive and so when you are working in an organization the 10 key interpersonal communi communication skills are first is the communication your oral speaking capability written presenting and listening you need this qualification or you need this skill in the organization next is the courtesy means manners etiquette business etiquette gracious says please and thank you be respectful next is the flexibility adaptability willing to change lifelong learner accept new things adjust teachable so this i i am seeing i am talking about the similarity of these words next is integrity honest ethical high moral has personal values all comes under the integrity fifth comes the interpersonal skills for example you have to be nice personable sense of humor friendly empathetic positive etc sixth is attitude means optimistic enthusiastic encouraging you have to be happy confident etc 
etc. Seventh is professionalism, like business, business like, poise, etc. Eighth is responsibility, Ac accountable, reliable, gets the job done, resourceful, self-disciplined, common sense, etc. Ninth is teamwork, get along with others, agreeable, supportive, helpful, collaborative, etc. Tenth is work ethic, means hardworking, loyal, initiative, self-motivated and on time. So these are the 10 key interpersonal communication skills you have to follow. First is communication, courtesy, flexibility, integrity, interpersonal skills, you have to have good attitude, professionalism, responsibility, teamwork and work ethics. Now the last topic under the importance of interpersonal communication is have some other ways to improve when you have to improve your interpersonal communication skill you have to follow the following points first is be more approachable implement an open door policy you have to be approachable to your client to your customers to your employees etc build a report take an interest in your customers and employees engage in periodic casual conversation discuss mutual non-business interest share your personal interest etc third is strive to make others comfortable with you restrain from being overly serious control your integrity smile frequently while speaking use appropriate humor monitor sarcasm fourth Develop your ability to make small talks. This the word small talk we will see in the module number three. You have to develop the ability to small talk. That means you have to develop the ability to initiate with the small talk. Prepare opening statement about current event, discuss the weather, etc. And fifth is the treat others fairly. Remain neutral in the workplace is most important nowadays. So these are the five key points you have when you have to increase your interpersonal communication skill. So in this video we have covered the topic paralingistic features which is I have discussed which is the component of non-verbal communication. We have discussed all the three components kinesics which is the study of what is physical movement. Then we will see the proxemics this is the study of space used in the interpersonal communication and today we have seen the paralingistic features that is how words are said the study of that is known as paralingistic features we have also discussed the importance of interpersonal communication today in the previous video we have discussed the importance of intercultural communication so more topics of module 1 will be further discussed in the upcoming videos thank you